Okay, we're in Saratoga Springs at the National Museum of Racing and Hall of Fame. The scale used at the Saratoga track in the early 1900s. In 1943, a horse named Count Fleet won the Triple Crown, and these are the trophies. Now this is the Triple Crown trophy awarded to War Admiral, and right next to it is a trophy won by Seabiscuit. I'll share a little more on that later. There are over 50 trophies in here that were crafted by Tiffany and Company. They're all pretty spiffy. Now this is a statue of Man of War. Of all the horses inducted into the Hall of Fame, 83 of them trace their ancestry to this horse. This is Julie Crone, a great jockey, and the first woman elected to the Hall of Fame. This starting gate was used in Saratoga. That jockey is dialed in. Some old passes. A program from 1884. This chair is actually a scale. Jockeys might as well be comfortable while they're being weighed. This painting is pretty neat. Now for you soccer fans, you're familiar with VAR. Well, horse racing has had its own version of VAR for a while. And uh, a few years ago, in fact, the horse that finished first in the Kentucky Derby was disqualified using the video review and the horse that finished second actually was given the victory. Worn by Man of War. This whole case is dedicated to Man of War. A trophy won by Seabiscuit. A picture of Seattle Slough. 
Now, here is something interesting to me. This is the registration application for Seattle SLU. One of the great racehorses of all time. And here is the registration application for Secretariat. Obviously both very famous horses. I like this trophy. It was given to Attila in 1874 for winning the Traverse Stakes here in Saratoga. I just think it's a cool trophy. The program from Bill Shoemaker's last ride, he was a legend. American Pharaoh in action. There he is again in the winner's circle. The paddock is where the horses are saddled where the jockeys get their final instructions from the trainer. This room is dedicated to the Triple Crown. The horses that have won the Triple Crown are honored in here. They had to win the Kentucky Derby, the Preakness, and the Belmont Stakes. Now, I admit that I'm a casual fan at best. I'm mostly interested in the Triple Crown. I, I may watch a couple of races. I might watch the Traverse Stakes at the end of the Saratoga meet. This is the Triple Crown Trophy awarded to Count Fleet for his 1943 victories. Of course, it was given to him retrospectively because technically the Triple Crown didn't become a thing until 1950. Now over here is a statue of Seabiscuit. In 1938, he challenged War Admiral to a match race at Pimlico. He ended up winning by four lengths. Of course, War Admiral was a great horse and had won the Triple Crown. Now, later in his career, Seabiscuit suffered a bad injury, but miraculously got back to racing form and returned to his winning ways, and we saw the first trophy he won in his comeback earlier in this video. He is beloved by racing fans. Okay, one more thing to see. So this gate was at the entrance to Pimlico until there was a major fire in 1966, which destroyed the clubhouse. All right, hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.